family, 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 family. All I have to say is sometimes my people disappoint me. Yeah. And I see why the Most High Yah has bestowed these curses on his chosen people, the Israelites. Now, I'm going to probably ruffle a few feathers. I'm going to probably piss a few people off. But I don't care. I don't give a damn. I see. I never watched the clip on Twitter. But there's a um, buzz going on around this so-called Mocha Fest in Houston, Texas. It was something like a um, freak nick or something. You know, because I was watching the um, content creator. He was um, doing his rant about it. And he explained it. You know, you had these men and women just out in the public engaging in debauchery. Our people, so-called black people, who supposed to be the Israelites, God's chosen people. We don't want to be God's chosen people. I don't know why the Most High don't choose another race to be his people. Real talk. He should do that. He should kill our people and choose the Asians or another race or create a whole new race. And some people might, oh, oh you sound like a coon. I don't care. Black people need to stop being fucking hypocrites. We need to stop acting like we can't be criticized and critique as a race. When a white person do it, they racist. When our own people do it, we, we call a coon or a sellout. We throw them fucking words around too much. I don't give a fuck who get mad. You can fucking unsubscribe. You know, because I'm pissed off. I'm fed up at the state of my people. I'm fed up being in these conditions. I'm fed up being the tail as a nation. When we should be the head. The most high instruct us to be the head. I don't care who get offended. You know, because that's the fucking problem with so-called black people. We want to have our fucking cake and eat it too. But when we, when somebody um hold our feet to the fire as a race, we want to play the fucking victim. We got to stop playing the fucking victim. And, and pull ourselves up by our big boy boxes and our big grill panties and man the fuck up and woman the fuck up and repent. You know? Oh, you cursing in this video. Shut your religious bitch ass up. Fuck your religious. Y'all religious motherfuckers be the man ones be sinning. Y'all be the biggest whores. Y'all be the biggest whore mongers out there. Y'all religious motherfuckers. But when a, when, when a pissed off righteous man come on here and just say a few strong language, y'all want to judge him. Get the fuck out of here. But yeah, that damn mocha fest, it was just a atrocious, abominable act. When I think about what our ancestors had to go through during chattel slavery, going through them hardships in hell, we didn't have to experience that. You know, they couldn't even look white people in the eyes. And fast forward to 2023, that's the thanks they get, all the sacrifice they did, the lynchings, the torture, the burnings, you know, running from the KKK during the wee hours of the night, Jim Crow era, civil rights era. Fast forward to 2023, you, you, replay your, you replay your ancestors with a fucking mocha fest in Houston, Texas. They just had an article about the syphilis outbreak in Houston. And y'all stupid ass Negroes want to go out there and just engage in all kind of debauchery and fornication. I mean, they say they had some of these young brothers, um, you know, just whipping out their damn junk. And just throwing it on these women. And women just, uh, you know, gone busting it wide open for any random joke over there. This will be coming to as a people. And you wonder why the world don't take us serious. Black men, you wonder why the other races of men call you a boy. And you want to get mad when a white man still call you a boy at the age of 40. Because you act like a boy. You don't want to build shit. All you want to do is sit on your fucking ass and chase women. And, and smoke weed and drink fathers and shit, you know, you don't want to build nothing, and you wonder why the black woman don't want to fucking cooperate all, like y'all like to say in these spaces, submit, because y'all niggas ain't building shit, that's why, y'all fucking niggas ain't building shit, and you want the black woman to so-called submit, oh, black woman don't want to submit, 
because you leading them to hell. You being some ass clowns, you know. You don't want to look out for your children. You don't want to raise your children. You just want to have, you just want to get the woman pregnant and you leave them to the wolves. Same thing for some y'all black mothers, not all, but y'all leave y'all daughters vulnerable. Y'all y'all kill the self-esteem of y'all sons, but y'all let y'all daughters get away with everything, but y'all sons, y'all hold them back. And then when they son, when, when y'all daughters, y'all don't even tell y'all daughters the value of their flower. It's a damn shame that a lot of our young women giving up their flower at an early age and some of their flowers be taken by family members, you know, or cousins. I mean, it's so much ills that we don't want to talk about in a so-called black community. But as soon as you talk about certain elephants in a room, you be called a, um, you be called all type of names, you know. You be called a traitor, a sellout, a coon, you know. We are some of the biggest hypocrites on this earth, you know. We are. Y'all talk about fucking white privilege. Black privilege exists. Let me tell you something. Black privilege is real. Pro-blacks, these pro-blacks, they allow black privilege. Black privilege, let me tell you what black privilege is. Black privilege is black dysfunction, allowing black dysfunction to go on without anybody saying shit about it. If you say shit about black dysfunction, you're going against black privilege. Real shit. I don't give a fuck who get mad. Y'all can fucking unsubscribe because y'all part of the problem. Those who don't like the message, y'all some wicked ass niggas. Y'all part of the fucking two thirds. Fuck the two thirds niggas. You know, fuck y'all two thirds niggas, man. Y'all holding us back from the kingdom. Y'all two thirds sellouts. You know, if it was up to me, I'd been wipe y'all two thirds ass out, you know. But I understand the most high Yah is long suffering, you know. That's what set him apart from the other gods. Because the other gods would have been wiped y'all niggas out in Mythodja. You look about you look at the other gods in Mythodja, they didn't tolerate shit from the humans. They wiped their ass out with a spick, like an ant they was. But that's what set Yah apart from the other gods and goddesses, you know. You know, real shit. But um yeah, this Mocha Fest, I never watched the um video and I might not even watch it. You know, it is a damn travesty what our people has become. And you got these pro wax out here, these pro wax brothers and sisters. Talking about, we was kings and shit. We was kings of Africa. Man, shut the fuck up. Everybody wasn't no king back in the ancient world. We was kings and queens. We ruled Egypt and Africa. Well, y'all don't have a rulership mentality. Nah, y'all lower than an animal. Some of y'all niggas, the way y'all behave, y'all lower than a fucking animal. At least animals still got some sense of morals left. And they animals, they beasts of the field. But y'all, after what they showed at Mocha Fest, it just shows we got all kind of stuff going on in the world. You got the fires in Hawaii, the earth, I mean, the um, hurricane that's hitting California. And y'all niggas want to have a Mocha Fest down there in Houston, Texas. Give me a freaking break. Give me a freaking break. This is a damn shame. Our ancestors did not die for this bullshit to happen. You know. Think about how people was in the 1940s, 1950s. We was they was doing for themselves. Like during the Great Depression, a lot of black people, man, they had jobs. They was living off the land. They was doing they was doing for themselves. But ever since integration. That's when our people started declining. Ever since integration. And Martin Luther King knew it too before he would die. He said, I led my people into a burning building. Yes, you did, Martin Luther King. You fucked up. You fucked up, Martin Luther King. Yes, you fucked up, nigga. Yeah, and I said it and I meant it. You fucked up. You know, because look at the state of our people. You know, ever since integration, our men want to become like the heathen. And our women, you know, it's like we want to become more than what we're supposed to be. We want to be like the other nations. We don't want to be the men and women that the Most High created us to be. We don't want to be His chosen people. Let's keep it a buck. We don't want to. We don't want to be His chosen people no more. You know, we talk about this and that and this and that. You know, that's why I say the Most High is long suffering. All praises because. If, it, if I was in that position, being a power like that, man, I'd wipe them out and choose or create a whole nother people. You know, but I understand he gave us free will. And 
the majority of our people choose to be buffoons with the free will. They don't want to keep the commandments. And yes, we all not perfect. I make mistakes my damn self. I sin. I'm a sinner, you know. I, I fouled up, but I try to get back up and walk up, right? You know, for all those. Oh, you want to call out the race, but what about you, Moshe? She, I'm fucked up just like the next nigga. You know, we all are fucked up people. Shit. We've been in this mother. Our ancestors, our people been in this motherfucking captivity with us. What, four, five hundred fucking years? We all fucked up mentally and spiritually. But the only way we're going to get unfucked up if we repent and come back to the Most High in Christ. You got to keep it blood raw with these niggas, man. You, you gotta, it's time to stop sugarcoating shit. It, it's time to stop sugarcoating shit. You know, real talk. Yeah, but I think I'm going to put this on my real talk channel because it's too much um, strong language I'm using. I don't want to put this on my main channel. You know, because, you know, you might have some self-righteous Israelites. They might try to pass judgment, but I don't give a fuck. You know, it's it just, I'm fed up, you know. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who feel this way. A lot of, even even in a video, you had a young brother saying, what the hell y'all doing, you know? Stop live streaming, you know? What is this going on? Y'all want to act like some Romans. Y'all acting just like the ancient Romans in Saturnalia. You know, when they had their orgies and all that, like during Saturnalia, y'all ain't no different from the ancient Romans and Greeks with these pagan festivals. That's all that really is. These freak neeks, um, Mocha Fest, Woodstock, ain't nothing new under the sun. Like, it all started with Woodstock, but no, it's way before Woodstock. This is what the damn pagans did for their festivals. You know, they prance around in the woods naked like some fake creatures like some damn fairies and goblins and shit and you know half man half beast they get this from the um god pan you know pandemonium that's what it is y'all acting like y'all going through pandemonium real shit ain't nothing under the sun it all started with the gentiles you know like doing the greco-roman culture and then it spread to the western societies and now you had, like back in the 60s you had woodstock in the nineties, you had Freak Nick. You got the Biker Fest. It's like that at the Biker Fest too. I'd be like, "Who on in America? On in America?" And then I heard it be way worse in the islands. You know, like in um, the Caribbean and Jamaica, they they be having festivals like that, carnival and all that. Oh, I tell you, I tell you. But yeah, our people falling so low. But yeah, we gotta stop acting like we can't be critique. You know, all criticized. You know, because the world sees what we do. The world watching us. The world watching us. You know, like I say, I know some people may dislike the video, but I don't give a shit, you know. Even though YouTube don't tell you who dislike your videos, but I don't give a fuck. Dislike it. You just make it. You just hate the truth. You're not You're not disliking the video. You're disliking yourself because you hate yourself. You know, if you promoting this wicked behavior of our people, you hate your people, you know. You hate yourself, you hate your people, you hate your God, you hate your Messiah, real talk. And this is not gaslighting, this is the truth, you know, because if you want the best for somebody, you're going to tell them the hardcore truth, and you're going to tell them to walk up right, real talk. Yes, indeed, but I know I'm going to probably piss some people off, but it is what it is, I don't give a damn. Yeah, but man, it's Mocha Fest, y'all want to have a Mocha Fest? It's not it's the way how the world is getting. We got inflation, people homeless and shit. You know, rent going up, the food going up, and y'all want to have a fucking mocha fest? Get the fuck out of here. The fuck wrong with y'all? The hell wrong with y'all niggas, man? And I hate using that term, nigga, man, because we're not that. But y'all want to have that mentality. Talking about I'm a real nigga. I'm a bad bitch. No, you're not. None of that. You're a daughter of Zion. You're a priest, brother. You're a lion of Judah. You don't want to be that, dude. You don't want to be what the Bible tell you is. You want to be what America tell you to be. You want to be what these so-called sellout rappers tell you to be. These damn puppets who mean no good for you. Real talk. And that's on everything. You know. Oh, I tell you. Our people and our ancestors didn't die. First of all, y'all sure didn't die. Yahshua did not give up his life for y'all to have a goddamn mocha fest. He gave up his life and rose so y'all could have recon rec be reconciled back to the Father in heaven. But two-thirds of our people don't want to hear this word. 
they rather they rather be what America tell them to be. You know. You know, with all the STDs going around, it's just making looking for a partner difficult for both men and women. You know, if we was walking in right, if this society was promoting righteousness, you won't have none of these bullshit spaces that's complaining about men and women. You got these women complaining about men. You got, I mean, this whole gender war divide. If, if this society was a righteous society, it won't be no gender war content creators and all that shit you know passport bros sysbm divest us the swirlers and all that bullshit all that is is a, just a bunch of confusion all that is just is a bunch of goddamn confusion you know because all these schisms and isms and movements and podcasts they ain't following the ways of the bible they ain't following the ways of the most high in christ they following the ways of the damn world real talk and I dare one of y'all naysayers to come in the comment section. I want y'all to come in the comment section. You're going to get removed. You're going to get cussed out and you're going to get removed. So that's a forewarning because I'm so sick and tired of the buffoonery. I dare y'all. I dare one of y'all naysayers to say something crazy to me in the comment section. You're going to wish you had it. Real talk. I'm tired of playing. You know, I'm tired of playing. You know, real talk. You know, because somebody got a rant about it. But yeah, that's just my little rant. Black people, y'all got to do better. You know, I want the best for my people. I want to see black families prosper. I want to see the black man and black woman loving each other again, raising their children in righteousness. That's what I want to see. I want to see my brother stop killing each other over bullshit and street corners they don't even own. How the hell you say this is your block? And you don't even own shit. You know, you know what gets me about some of these these damn Negroes talking about, oh, this is my city, man. This is our block. Y'all don't own, y'all don't even own a goddamn brick. Y'all don't even own a damn rock on that block. Let me say that again. Y'all don't even own a piece of rock on that block. But y'all want to say this is our block. This is our city. Go build something, black man. Then, then maybe, then maybe you could say you own something. Go build something. Go build something. That's what men supposed to do. They supposed to be builders. You know, build shit, man. Our ancestors build things, man. You know, they don't even want to work. You know, real talk. But yeah, we got to do better. When the men get right, the woman going to get right. That's the only way. It all starts with the men because the order is God, Christ, man, woman, and child. So if the, the man is supposed to be the head, right? So if the man... It's out of order, which is the head. The head is sick. The whole body going to be sick, which is the woman and the children. That's the body, you know. If the head is sick, the whole body is sick. So it all starts with the men. Men got to get it right. Get it right, brothers. Stop being buffoons. Stop being some damn horn dogs. Repent. Walk upright. Stop trying to be a real nigga and be a real man of y'all. And a y'all fair man. And I guarantee you, like I said before, if... 80% or 90%, if, let's see, if 80% of brothers was doing this, I'm talking about a huge bulk. The scissors are fall in line. They have no choice because that'll be the vibration being pushed out there in the airways, being righteous. And bring shame back to the black community. See, that's the problem. See, shout out to um, Gen X and the boomer generation. They didn't, if Some of the stuff that they do today, like they black people do today, they were shame for that shit. You know, if a woman was dressing half naked, they'd probably think she was losing her mind. You know, if a brother was um doing things out of order, man, he'd be shameful. He'd be called out. He'd be pulled to the side by the other men, and they'll chin check his ass. They'll check him. They'll give him a strong talk. Sometimes they'll rough him up. If he do something out of pocket, they'll rough him up, pick him back up, dust him off, say, hey, look, don't do it again. We're trying to steer it the right way, but no, them days are over with. Just like for children, like back in our parents' days when they was coming up, if they did something out of pocket, they'd get a whipping at school. They'd get a whipping by their neighbor. Everybody knew each other. You see, that village mentality is gone. Like I said, it takes a village to raise a child. That's gone. You can't even do that. If you're trying to correct somebody, child, oh, help me, y'all. Help me, y'all, in the name of y'all, sure. You're going to have to face the parents. You might have to worry about getting your snot box rocked because people are just crazy. They, don't, they let their children raise themselves, you know? 
And that's why we got the issues that's going on. You got these youngsters saying we on demon time and all that. And they want to be like Ice Spice. These young ladies want to be like Ice Spice and uh, Glorilla and Sukiyana and who else? Sexy Raid, all these abominable female rappers, man, that's promoting young women to be promiscuous and harlots and catch STDs and baby mamas, all kind of wicked bullshit. And you got these young um, drill rappers telling brothers to kill, kill, kill their own and smoke on so-and-so pack. Go shoot up the funerals. But when you speak about stuff like this, you be called a coon, you um, a traitor, you know. I mean, it's, it's like you can't even call out the ills of so-called black people, you know. But y'all can't escape judgment. Just like the Most High gonna judge the earth, he gonna judge y'all too. Last time I checked, he said judgment starts at his house first, which is Israel. Nah, can't escape it. Can't escape it. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this video short. I just had to rant about this Mocha Fest bullshit. I think I'm going to put it on my Real Talk channel because, yeah, I was, I was going in. I was going in. I was going in. But yeah, so y'all just let me know what y'all think, you know. But, you know, I'm disgusted at it, you know. This whole society is geared towards the pleasures of the flesh, you know. Having people be operating in a low vibration state. They want men to be slaves to their damn rods. You know. They want women to be harlots instead of wives. They don't want families no more. They want confusion. They don't want solid family structure. They want broken families. That's what the society loves. They want broken families. Because the more you have broken families... It's going to feed the beast. It's going to feed this wicked system like the family court system. You know, it's going to keep families divided. Yeah, that family court system, that is a, that's another whole beast right there. Just like the prison industrial complex. This whole system is about dividing the black family. I'm going to just keep it a buck. Since day one, since day one, since they brought our ancestors here on these cargo slave ships, they divided the black family. They sold the mother to a plantation down further down south and they left the father on a plantation in virginia and they'll take the baby and leave the um baby on a plantation with a father at, you know or, or, or sometimes they'll let the baby grow up and when the baby become an adult they'll sell the baby off to another plantation you see they divided our families up and they still doing it till this day ain't nothing new under the sun but when you look at the root cause, it's up to us to stop these curses. It's up to our people to stop the cycle. But the majority of our people, they love this the function. They love this place. That's why two-thirds got to go. Two-thirds have to be destroyed. Two-thirds have to be destroyed. You know. But yeah, I just don't get it sometimes. Why God don't choose another people to be his people? Because I guarantee you. If he was to choose another, because you know other nationalities read this Bible. If he was, and they know about, they know about those promises. I guarantee you. If he was to choose another group of people, they won't be acting like this. You know, they won't be acting like that. They'll be trying to get them blessings. But that's just something to think about, though, man. You know, just to show you how low we falling as a people. Get it together. Get it together. You know. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short, man. Let me know what y'all think. Like I said, y'all come against me. I'm going to block you. You know, but y'all have a right to comment. You know, y'all have a right to comment. Anyway, I'll catch y'all in the next one.